what are the different classes of airspace in the National Airspace System? So this graphic is one that I have taken from the FAA to share with you the different classes of airspace and sort of what this looks like from a 3D perspective, all right? So in the National Airspace System, we have six different classes. We have Class Alpha, Class Bravo, Class Charlie, Class Delta, Class Echo, and Class Golf. So it's A, B, C, D, E, and then G. So we do not have a Class F or Class Foxtrot airspace in the National Airspace System. Now, this diagram here shows, generally speaking, what that airspace looks like from a 3D perspective. Each individual airport is going to be configured a little bit differently, sometimes just based on the geographic limitations. Maybe there's a mountain there, um, or even maybe there's, you know, some heavy, uh, you know, traffic or, um, you know, some sort of obstacle that we're trying to design the airspace around. But for the most part, this is what airspace looks like from this sort of side view of a 3D. All right. So this would this would be the ground right here. And then this would be, you know, the airspace itself. Okay. So if you notice some of these Class Bravo and Class Charlie, they look like upside down wedding cakes. And you'll hear this term a lot when we're talking about airspaces. Sort of this this it's like a lockstep sort of set up where it looks like this upside down wedding cake if you look at it from the side. All right, so we're going to go through each one of these different types of airspace here shortly, but what I wanted to do is just give you an introduction to what the different classes are and then uh, also share with you that if you are struggling understanding any particular types of airspace, go back and watch these videos and um, you can go to the AIM and look there, the Aeronautical Information Manual. There is a lot of really good information there that you can look through and you can read and you can uh, you try to get a better solid understanding of airspace, but do know that this is an area that many pilots struggle with as they are learning how to become a remote pilot, a sport pilot, a private pilot, any type, any type of, People that are maybe brand new to aviation and trying to understand this whole world, think of it sort of like our highway system here in the U.S., but it's actually it's 3D because you can go forward and back, left and right, but then you can also go up and down, all right? So just know that this can be a tricky topic for a lot of different people, but we are going to get you through it. We're going to get you feeling comfortable and confident being able to read these charts and, and decipher airspace in the National Airspace System. So again... We have class Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, and Golf airspace. You will not have questions about class A airspace on your exam simply because it is from the area between 18,000 feet MSL or mean sea level to flight level 600, so that's 60,000 feet. Um, you won't be operating your drone there. So it's those, those are questions that are, you're not going to see those types of questions on the exam, but I did want to point it out to you. So we're going to talk about it in the next video just a little bit. Um, but then we've got class E airspace here. So again, that is controlled airspace. So you can see that it's a little bit higher up in altitude. So that means if you are up flying around, that you can actually get radar services or air traffic control services from an airport, you know, a couple hundred miles away because you're up in the air and it's line of sight and you can get that radio signal can, can travel. Okay. So again, we'll talk about all that kind of stuff, but generally speaking, this is what airspace looks like. Class Bravo and class Charlie looks like an upside down wedding cake. Class Delta looks like the cylinder here. And then class echo, we don't necessarily have, this um, like cylinder or wedding cake. We'll get into that though. So this is the National Airspace System at a glance. Let's get into the details of each one of these individual classes of airspace.